Good afternoon, Murphyites. Rosie here. I'm going to uh, have a sunny out this afternoon. It was like, uh, ooh, it was like winter time this morning. It was cold and nasty. And, uh, ooh, this little funky drizzle was coming down. And then uh, this afternoon, 80 degrees, it's perfectly sunny. I love California. <laughs> I've had a couple of people ask, Rosie, do you, uh, are you on any kind of uh, drugs or hallucinogenic or psychotropic drug, I like the terminology. You know, you're talking to a trained professional and they're like psychotropic and, uh, you know, anti this and blah, blah, blah. And, blah, blah. and you're just like thinking to yourself, why can't somebody be happy in life, you know? <sighs> just because the world's gone to shit. Yeah, I know you. I do get a, I have the, uh, this is, I'm calling this Throwback Tuesday because I have the, uh, I have the wide angle chooch on today on the old SDR H79 Panasonic, the old metal tank of a camera that gave me so much great duty and still takes some of the most beautiful, beautiful, uh, moon zoom pictures that you'd, uh, you'd ever want to see. You know, some, a couple girls, you know, whenever you have an opinion about something, guys, you find people come down the two ways on it. They either agree with you or they disagree with you. And I had, by and large, a lot of people were talking about when I had the commenting on when I had the video about the fine line between mental illness and uh, being transgender. And sometimes, as my therapist used to say, you can be so depressed in life that you hate your life so much that you have what she called the uh, Walter Mitty complex. You go out there and reinvent it. You sit there at your uh, at your desk at work, or you sit there at home folding the laundry or doing whatever you're doing, and you start thinking to yourself, "Gee, wouldn't it be uh, wouldn't it be great if I just could be this?" Or wonder what it would be like if I could just. Uh, be that and before you know it and she's had some experiences counselor with uh, guys that have come in with just this overwhelming depression of can't standing their lives and maybe who they're married to or their kids aren't turning out the way that they uh, want so they go they just go and they just it burns in their subconscious so much that they get up some days and they just you know, they just, their mind snaps. And they just create this new persona. They had this planned in their mind. And, you know, I don't like who I am, so I'm going to be somebody totally different. And I've never really talked about that too much. but And I don't even know if it's mental illness, maybe just a mental affliction. I mean, there's so many people these days that don't like their lives. I mean, life is just a brutal struggle right now to make a dollar. The, uh, you know, I've talked about before some of the uh, friction, what I call frictions in the economy. There's been years like when Bill Clinton was uh, president, that money just sort of slid and greased through, and uh, you know, when the real estate bubble was uh, pumping up real good, and uh, the money was flowing, and the cover of Time and uh, Fortune and uh, Forbes magazine, Money magazine, had all people loving real estate and group hugging their houses and all that shit. Well, all those bubbles and stuff kind of burst. And you know, I've talked before we get on the channel about how the stock stock market is the new uh, the new money maker and the new uh, money spinner in life, and I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. But for the average person, making a dollar is really hard these days. And then when you make a buck, the cost of living is so friggin' outrageous. And it's no wonder that uh, the rise of transgenderism, and my therapist showed me a chart oh, two years ago, and just the rapid rise in the number of people diagnosed as uh, transgender. And she, she sort of speculated to me, I'll bet 30% of them are truly, 
transgendered and the others are just uh, identifying themselves or grooming themselves to try to be transgender because of the, the screwed up pressures of the world that we live in today. And I thought, you know, that's really probably kind of true, that Walter Mitty syndrome of disliking your life so much that you go out there and try to find the polar opposite. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All will be right with the world as long as guys keep liking uh, big titties and everything. That'll be good. Anyway, I think she had a, uh, I think she had a real valid point about things. Which brings me to the point of the upload today is we get to a point where a lot of girls go down this path toward transitioning and they never find the happiness that they expect that they will derive from that because in a lot of ways making a dollar becomes harder, family relationships become much worse, and uh, friend relationships become worse, and before you know it, you sit back, you think about your life, and oh my god, it's even worse than before, and you're miserable as a uh, transgender person. This is why I think so many so many counselors today give what I call feel-good psychology. You know, they you're paying the $80, $120 an hour, sometimes $200 to sit there and blab. And uh, I hate to say it, but you know, you're shaking the money tree for them. And uh, the last thing a lot of them want is to lay it on you and tell you uh, tell you sometimes what you need to hear. You know, it just wrap it up and say, there's been a, gir a girl, Claire, up in uh, up in Washington State. You've heard me talk about Claire for oh, on the O'Kelly channel and some other place for almost a year and a half, and she's been one of my longest followers. And she finally realized after uh, starting to go through transition, and luckily she didn't go far enough of getting SRS and all that, but. Uh, about two weeks ago she dropped me a line and she was saying how happy she was and I assumed starting to read it that she had her uh, her gender reassignment surgery and was happy with her new equipment but no in actual fact she had uh, detransitioned and begun her restarted her life over again with family and uh, friends and you know she said it's a hard road getting back to where I was but it's a better place than where I was when I was being transgender and I thought how heroic of her just to recognize or him that what he was seeking was relief from, from some of the mental anguish and pressures in life and uh, he actually said I've switched up jobs now the economy's a little better I'm actually making a few dollars I'm back in uh, doing construction stuff again and I tell you Rosie if you're meant to be a man, you're meant to be a man. If you're meant to be a lady, you're meant to be a lady. I applaud your heroic decision and glad things work out for the best. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and have a beautiful rest of your Tuesday evening.